Howdy YouTube, a very special review today as we take a look at the DC Collectibles Batman Arkham Knight Red Hood. Man, was I excited to pick this guy up. Unfortunately, not available in Australia, only at GameStop located in the US. Uh, fortunately enough, I recently had family over there who were able to pick this guy up for me. Uh, I have literally just got him, so I am going to review him. Uh, one of the new characters in the upcoming Arkham Knight game. Uh, not sure who he's going to be in the comics, of course. Uh, spoiler, he's known as Jason Todd. Uh, whether that will be the case with this video game, I'm not sure. I know initially when Arkham Knight was first revealed, a lot of people were speculating that um, Jason Todd could be Arkham Knight or even Damian Wayne. Uh, I'm not sure who it's going to be. I think it'll be uh, a really good twist. Uh, knowing Rocksteady, they make fantastic games, and the Arkham games are some of my favorite of all time. So I'm very, very excited and very much looking forward to it. Uh, interesting, he comes with obviously the two gigantic pistols that you see there. Nice uh, packaging. He comes in the newer, sleeker style DC collectibles packaging, of which I'm a big fan, uh, as opposed to the older school uh, cow shaped bubble. Uh, which really took up a lot of space uh, and I don't think added a lot to the figures. So very excited to get this guy opened up. You can see obviously on the side of the packaging there a nice shot of the uh, red hood uh, and then at the bottom there obviously we see it is a GameStop exclusive. Other figures in the set, Batman of course, if you haven't seen my review on him, Make sure you check that out. You'll know it is a fantastically awesome figure. Uh, also, Arkham Knight, who I have uh, pre-ordered and he is coming. The Scarecrow, another fantastic figure. And then the Harley Quinn, uh, which sadly didn't really jump out to me, um, but uh, I'm sure is a really good figure as well. So let's get the Red Hood opened up and out of packaging. Okay, and here we have the Red Hood opened up and out of packaging and he is a very, very cool figure. Much like the other DC Collectibles figures of late, lots of nice detail uh, and hopefully some good articulation as well. Uh, we'll start by taking a look at the face. Uh, something of a mystery, that's for sure. Um, could it be uh, Arkham Knight? Who knows? Uh, the hoodie does uh, actually uh, come off to reveal uh, a really cool looking helmet, if I'm honest. Uh, nice detail, you can see obviously there's some cool lining uh, on there. Uh, I don't see any holes for eyes, there are some slits there at the top, but how you would see out of that, I uh, I have no clue. Um, I definitely love the design of this red hood. Uh, it looks really uh, menacing, but also fits in well with the Arkham style uh, look. Uh, moving down throughout the figure, obviously you can see he's got the uh, Batman logo on the chest that uh, is a little bit... Um, uh, I don't want to say warped or, or different, but um, I think it's meant to resemble the, the Batman logo, but certainly looks as if it's just been uh, painted on. You can see the, uh, I guess, the faults in the brush strokes um, on, the, on the logo there, which is really nice to see in, in great detail. He has got a leather jacket, uh, which is really nice as well, uh, with some pretty cool detail moving through the figure. You can see, obviously, he's got a, a nice uh, belt on there, and then moving down. Taking a look, there's a nice um, two-tone color on the pants where uh, it looks like they are uh, a little bit dirty and obviously Red Hood's been uh, been in a little bit of action there, uh, which is one of the things I really like. Uh, the DC Collectibles figures have always been good with their, their paint applications. And um, unlike a lot of the Marvel figures, uh, which I'm not trying to bash, the DC Collectibles really look like they've had a lot of time and effort put into both the sculpt and also the paint. They look like a much higher calibre and quality uh, figure, which is something I'm a, a big, big fan of. Nice detail on the sides there. Hopefully you guys can see the... Uh, I think it's an ammo belt with uh, clips for the, the giant pistols there. He's got the, uh, the shin pads as well, which uh, have got a lot of scruff marks and a lot of damage on. Um, so something that I think is really, really cool. Uh, looking at the back, I love this. Uh, so check this out. So he's got the, the Batman logo or the, the Red Hood logo uh, on the back there. But if you take a look, uh, it's like he's been uh, in a knife fight and he's had this bit of the jacket cut and it's actually been stapled back together. That's like a really minor detail feature that I absolutely adore. Uh, I think it's really cool. Even down to little things like the, um, uh, the cuffs on the jacket there. I think uh, is just really cool and, and really uh, a good display of how much detail the uh, DC figures of late 
have had. Uh, I was really disappointed with the Arkham Origins figures. Uh, Asylum and City, fantastic figures. Origins, to me, was a real letdown. They felt really cheap uh, and of a poor quality. But um, the Arkham Knight figures have certainly redeemed, uh, redeemed the figures for me. Uh, and a lot of really good detail uh, on this guy. So just for comparison, you can see, obviously, the Red Hood Joker attire released in the uh, Arkham Origins set compared to this newer Arkham Knight uh, variant. Definitely a big fan of the Arkham Knight version. Uh, this guy just really, really impresses me uh, as a figure. I think he's really cool. And I'm really happy, too, because he obviously uh, is pretty hard to come by being an exclusive um, some people uh, are saying that they've managed to pick him up in Australia at um, the local EB Games. I've gone in and asked uh, and, and haven't been successful. Um, I haven't heard anywhere that he's selling them. Uh, but I could be wrong. They, they might have them uh, in some stores. But still, I was very, very lucky to be able to find this guy and um, I guess have, have him brought over. Okay, so in terms of articulation, now the head is on a ball joint and it is limited due to the hoodie. But one of the things I really like is that you can actually peel the the hoodie back. Uh, I'm not going to just because uh, it is attached at the back here and I don't want it um, ripping off and, and wrecking, but the, the head is on a ball joint. The arms are also on a ball joint. There is a swivel in the bicep, double bend in the elbow, which hopefully you can see there, uh, ball jointed wrists, which is fantastic. Now, uh, he has waist articulation, so a waist swivel, but also an ab crunch, which I don't know if you can see there, uh, he has the ab crunch. Mine is super stiff at the moment, uh, but hopefully uh, not everyone's is like that. Um, so that's really cool. Normally we either get a swivel waist or an ab crunch, uh, not both. So the fact that they've given us both with this guy, um, I think is awesome. Really, really cool. Um, he does have ball jointed legs, but mine are really stiff. Swivel in the thigh, double bend at the knee, which is really cool. Uh, and then I think ball jointed ankles. Yeah, ball jointed ankles. Uh, but again, this guy is really, really stiff. Uh, so he needs to be loosened up a little bit. But uh, really great articulation, great detail on this guy. Uh, very excited. I know Red Hood is going to have his own story pack for the upcoming Arkham Knight game. If you pre order it, I, I certainly have. And I'm very much looking forward to being able to play as this guy. One of the things I'm really hoping, though, is uh, with Arkham Origins, they announced the Deathstroke DLC, which is probably one of the most disappointing DLCs of all time. You could only use the character in the challenge maps. I'm hoping that at least with this Red Hood figure and the fact they've called it a story pack, there is going to be uh, some substance to it, and it's not just going to be a bonus character uh, for the challenge modes. Uh, same with the Harley Quinn, although uh, from what I've heard, it's only restricted to the challenge maps, which is a bit of a shame. Now, in terms of accessories, Red Hood comes with two absolutely massive pistols. Uh, now, there is some really nice detail on these guns. Uh, I'll just show off one for the purposes of the review. You can see, obviously, I love it when they use different paint tones for things. Uh, and I love that they've gone to the effort of putting the Red Hood or uh, Batman logo uh, on the gun there. I think that's fantastic. Um, now, again, much like in the comics, I do think it is Jason Todd. Uh, my reason for for that is uh, pretty much if you've got the Harley Quinn's Revenge DLC, um, uh, the Harley Quinn's Revenge DLC or in the actual main game, I, I can't recall because I haven't played it for a little while, uh, there is a reference uh, where uh, you're playing as Robin, uh, which makes me think it is in the, the DLC, and there's a line from uh, either Harley Quinn, or it might have been Joker, I, I can't recall, uh, where they go, um, haven't I, I killed you yet, or weren't you dead, something along those lines, um, which makes me think that, um, you know, Jason Todd has come back for, for the Arkham Knight video game, but we'll see, anything can happen in the Arkhamverse, uh, great twists in the uh, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City games, so I'm really, really looking forward to uh, this particular iteration of the franchise. Now, he does hold the guns really well. Uh, I was concerned when I uh, saw prototype pictures uh, of this guy that the guns were a little bit too big. However, uh, when you actually put them in his hand, uh, they look fine. They're probably more the size of like a sawn off shotgun, so it's going to be interesting to see how they work in the video game. But absolutely, if you get a chance, uh, eBay, uh, if you've got a friend in the US, whatever it takes, I think this guy is an absolute must-have. 
Great articulation, great detail, and another great job by DC Collectibles. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this review on the Batman Arkham Knight Red Hood GameStop exclusive figure.